since 1948. The National Wrestling Alliance has historically been the largest sanctioning body in professional wrestling. Tonight, 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 Jeremiah Plunkett and W.A. Southern Heavyweight Champion, no more. If you want to put this belt around Mr. USA's waist, you're going to have to kill me for it because I guarantee that I've got a plan. I've outsmarted you, and I'll be walking out with this beautiful 10 pounds of leather and gold at the end of the night. For NWA Inferno, it's the hottest half hour in professional wrestling, and what a show today, Captain Chris. We are going to be seeing the Monster Jernigan one-on-one -on -one Christian James. That's going to be a wild one, and you know who's in the corner of Christian James, don't you? It's that Dirty Richard Lowe. So basically, we can say it's probably going to be a two-on-one. Plus, we are going to be seeing special footage of the legendary Lynn Rousey being inducted into the Hall of Fame, the NWA Hall of Fame. We're going to show you some special footage of that historic night and event. Plus, we have got a ladder match for the NWA Southern Heavyweight Championship. It's Jeremiah Plunkett once again with Richard Lowe. And you know who he's defending against? A man who's been after that title for some time. It's been growing for a long time. Mr. USA gets his shot, hopefully a fair shot, with a ladder match. That's right, a ladder match. The first combat to climb to the top of that ladder. Reach up and grab the title. It's gonna come away the winner. Will Plunkett retain or will USA be the new champ? We'll find out. And guess what, folks? It's the hottest half hour of professional wrestling. NWA Inferno and it's coming your way. It's going to take a lot of work because we are very, very pretty. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I tell you what, Chris, uh, we have got a big match for the uh, fans right now. We have got the monster Jernigan who's having his leg held by that no good Richard Lowe as he is being attacked now by Christian James. Usually Richard Lowe waits at least a minute or two before getting involved, but tonight he means business. He got right involved right off the bat. Right off the bat. And that is giving Christian James the advantage early. And fans, we uh, thank you for tuning in to the hottest half hour in professional wrestling. NWA Colonel Travis Bryan at ringside with Captain Chris. And uh, Monster Jernigan now is uh, back on top and letting Christian James have it. Yeah, Christian James had control. Decided he was going to taunt the crowd, try and show off a little bit. And this is what it's getting him. And there's just a, a two count as Christian James retreats to the outside for a breather, and I'm sure he'll probably be attended to by his manager, the Doctor of Style, Richard Lowe. Yeah, whenever Christian James on the is on the outside, Richard Lowe is not far behind. No, he's not. That is very true. You know, Monster Jernigan is really leaving a mark here in the NWA New South and the NWA period. Uh, he is uh, no stranger to singles action or tag action, teaming in the uh, uh, Mayhem Monsters there with a Hammerjack. But we've seen him in a lot of singles action here lately, and I'll tell you what, he is a big man. He's got a straightforward smash-mouth style. 
he just brings it to his opponent head on. This is going to be a very, very physical matchup. There's a, a typical move we see Monster Jernigan do. He just steps over the top rope. Just showing off at this point. Christian James walking around the ring. I don't know if he's aware that he's got a monster coming up behind him. You better turn around real quick. Oh! I don't think he figured it out. He didn't hear us, apparently. Not, yeah, not till he felt it anyway. <laughs> Getting uh, thrown back in the ring now. But Monster Journey getting Christian James on his knees trying to plead with him. Oh, he's begging he's off. Oh, look at this. He's wanting to shake hands. If you do shake his hand, you better count your fingers when you're done. Well, he did a little more than shake hands there. He hit him with a, a, what looked like to me to be pretty controversial uh, possibility of a low blow from my vantage point. I think you might be exactly right. Well, we have Chris Basham making his debut as an official tonight with the NWA. And, and uh, we want to welcome Chris aboard as uh, one of our officials. So we uh, certainly, uh, he's getting tested in his first match with these two guys. Absolutely. He's getting thrown into the deep end trying to stay between these two big guys. Oh, look at Richard Lowe now. Choking out the monster. You know, and, and, and he knows that it's going to take stuff like this to get Monster Jernigan down. Uh, and Richard, obviously, is going to try to do whatever he can to do that. Oh, that might have backfired on Christian James. I don't think it's a good idea to headbutt a monster. No, why would you do that? Why would you try and headbutt him? Look at him. It just made him mad. Oh, just a two count, though. Christian James kicks out. And I think Monster Jernigan knows this going in, that any time that you're wrestling Christian James, it's going to be a two-on-one match. You're going to have Richard Lowe out there all the time. And I think Monster knows that, and he's planned for that. Oh, yeah. You have to. You have to because uh, you know that for the guys that Richard manages, he's going to be there, and he is going to try to do everything he can to help them out. Whether that's legal or illegal, he's going to get involved in one way or another. Yes, he is. Big boot to the head, and uh, another pin attempt. Wow, that was close, but Christian James some way managing up enough uh, of a shoulder up to where he prevented the three count, and, and you could tell he uh, is worse for wear, but he was able to get that shoulder up. Yeah, he was able to get out at the last second. We'll see if he can mount a comeback here. Well, he just tried to take the knee out of Monster Jernigan, but so far he has not got him down on the mat. And that's the secret. you got to pick a joint and go for it, knock the monster down, and then he's the same size as everybody else, down on his back, and you can kind of take advantage. That's how you have to deal with the big men. Yeah, the bigger they are, the harder they fall, they say, but the trouble is actually getting them to fall. Look at Richard Lowe pounding on the knee. Now he's got the ankle. Monster Jernigan trying to get a hold to Lowe, but Richard sl slithers back as he's so good at doing. He just can't help himself from getting involved at every single opportunity. I wonder if Richard, how well he would do in a lie detector test. I have a feeling it would light on fire. <laughs> it would be like an inferno, an <laughs> NWA inferno. You're the exactly hottest right. half hour professional wrestling. Look at that big smile. Oh, oh. oh. barely. And he didn't even really kick out. He just kind of rolled off of his shoulder, which shows you just how tired that Christian James is getting right here. Well, I'll be honest with you, Chris. I thought that was it. I really did. You did. I did. I think everybody in here in the arena did. Christian James, some way, though, you, you got you to gotta give it to Christian James. He's a rugged, tough wrestler, and uh, he is not going to take anything off anybody. And even though he is associating with the likes of Richard Lowe, you can't uh, discredit this guy. He is a tough athlete. No, we said that about the monster, that he's very straightforward, very smash mouth. And Christian James is very similar in that same style. Yes, he is. But right now, Monster Jernigan getting the best of him. And there's that big football tackle. And now he's getting ready maybe uh -oh. for the big monster slam. But Richard Lowe just raked his eyes. Now he's trying to hold Monster Jernigan. Oh, look at this. What are those, brass knuckles or something? Oh, almost backfired. Look out, into Richard Lowe. Down goes Lowe. Here we go with a big slam possible. Yes, the monster oh. slam. Almost through the mat. All oh, she wrote, Monster Jernigan wins. That's what happened.
happens when you pick a fight with a monster. I tell you what, let's take a look at that on instant replay. And the monster Jernigan had had enough, and he comes back and hits that big monster oh, slam. Way up and all the way down. It's all she wrote. Stick a fork in him. He's done. Yep, that's all it takes. Looking for the place to be on Friday nights? Well, look no further than NWA New South Championship Wrestling featuring live wrestling action at the New South Arena located at 512 West Madison Street in Franklin, Kentucky. The best professional wrestling in the Middle Tennessee, Southern Kentucky area, just 40 minutes north of downtown Nashville. Call the hotline at 270-282-0122. All seats only 8 bucks. Children 6 to 12, 6 bucks with an adult and kids 5 and under. Absolutely free. The gates open at 6.30. The bell time is at 7.30 for the best professional wrestling action in the area it's nwa new south championship wrestling log on to our website at nscwrestling.com promotional consideration paid for by the following rippy's auto and equipment repair located at 418 loving chapel road in franklin kentucky their number is 270 586-4375 for all your auto and equipment repair needs. It's Rippies in Franklin, Kentucky. Live Pro Wrestling Saturday, June 4th, 7 p.m. bell time at the White County Fairgrounds in Sparta, Tennessee. Former WWE World Heavyweight Champion Booker T. Meet him at a special 5 p.m. meet and greet. Seven big matches with a big steel cage match and a special mystery WWE superstar appearing. Also, TNA stars Crimson, Crazy Steve, Eric Young, and many many more. Top-notch professional wrestling. Get your advance tickets now by calling 931-704-3563. General admission tickets will be available the day of the event at the door. Hello wrestling fans, Travis Bryan with you once again along with Captain Chris and as promised Chris, we have got footage of a historic night that recently happened. NWA Hall of Fame awards dinner and ceremony for the legendary Lynn Rossi. Wrestling fans of this area, I know remember Lynn. He is a true legend of the sport and I know well deserving of this honor. Absolutely. Without further ado, let's go to the footage. Lynn, on behalf of the National Wrestling Alliance, and the President, Bruce Starr, we want to welcome you to this class of 2016 with the NWA Hall of Fame. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so Also, my great deep respect and regards to my services. I know they worked very, very hard to get work for me and present it to me. Went through a lot of trouble and expense also, which I really appreciate. Uh, some of you may know, some may not know. I spent 20, uh, close to 30 years in investing business, about 25 years professionally. And Back when I was in the business, and when some of us were in the business, they had the National Wrestling Alliance, NWA. And the NWA was the controlling body of the wrestling profession. And back then they had what they called territories. Not like today, when our members of the National Wrestling Alliance tried to keep wrestling at the highest levels and to perform wrestling matches. Uh, some showmanship has always been involved, of course, in our business, but not as much as today. So once again, I want to thank everybody for being here, all my friends, my dear wife, Gina, AJ, my friend, and my Rhonda, for me being here, thanks again for the family introduction, and my neighbor, and one of our best friends, Peggy, Mike, thank you very much, and Tim, we want to thank you. God bless you. Thank you for Looking for the place to be on Friday nights? Well, look no further than NWA New South Championship Wrestling featuring live wrestling action at the New South Arena located at 512 West Madison Street in Franklin, Kentucky. The best professional wrestling in the Middle Tennessee, Southern Kentucky area, just 40 minutes north of downtown Nashville. Call the hotline at 270-282-0122. All seats only 8 bucks. Children 6 to 12, 6 bucks with an adult and kids 5 and under. Absolutely free. The gates open at 630. The bell time is at 730 for the best 
professional wrestling action in the area, it's NWA New South Championship Wrestling. Live Pro Wrestling, Saturday, June 4th, 7 p.m. bell time at the White County Fairgrounds in Sparta, Tennessee. Former WWE World Heavyweight Champion Booker T. Meet him at a special 5 p.m. meet and greet. Seven big matches with a big steel cage match. And a special mystery WWE superstar appearing. Also, TNA stars Crimson, Crazy Steve, Eric Young, and many, many more. Top notch professional wrestling. Get your advanced tickets now by calling 931 704 3563. General admission tickets will be available the day of the event at the door. Ladies and gentlemen, the following match is a ladder match for the NWA Southern Heavyweight Championship. The first man to climb the ladder and reach the belt will be your NWA Southern Heavyweight Champion. Introducing first the challenger from the land of the free and the home of the brave, weighing at 270 pounds, Mr. U.S.A. And his opponent, your current NWA Southern Heavyweight Champion from Tater Peeler, Tennessee, weighing at 295 pounds, the grizzled white boy, Jeremiah Perlante. So it's come to this. The, the only way to settle this, this disagreement, this feud that these two guys have had, is you bring out the ladders. What is going on here? Yes, accidentally, I'm sure, forgot to announce Richard Lowe. Air quotes, accidentally. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, Ella would never do such a thing. However, I have to say, did you see Jeremiah Plunkett try to put Ella De La Vega in front of him as well as referee Anthony Wayne to protect him from Mr. USA? He was trying, and it didn't work too well, so he's got to come up with another plan. Definitely. I tell you, this one has been brewing for some time. These guys have wrestled week in and week out now. And it climaxed last week when Jeremiah Plunkett and Richard Lowe basically run from the building. They left the building after the match. And we've seen where Mr. USA has, we thought, won the championship. Is Plunkett serious about this? He's got the ring steps. I don't think that's going to get him that high. They're liable to break. They <laughs> probably will. <laughs> okay, he needs a plan C now because plan B didn't work. No, not at all. That I, I, I must say that those steps did hold up that 295 pounds of uh, man from Tater Peeler, Tennessee. Well, it's interesting because you're right. These two have been squaring off regularly over the last few weeks with Jeremiah Plunkett somehow every week managing to steal that title away. And symb almost symbolically this week, he shows up. He comes out. He's not able to wear that title because nope. it's hanging in the rafters. He, you're right. He is technically the champion. we got to say that. Yep. But the title is hanging in the rafters. And the only way for him to retain that belt is to use a ladder to get up there and take it down. And the ring steps is not going to do it. Oh, my. That's not going to do it either when he's out on the floor like that. Mr. USA taking it to the grizzled white boy, Jeremiah Plunkett. And this is just weeks of frustration that Mr. USA is finally able to take it out on Jeremiah Plunkett. Yes, he is. He rammed him into the barricade right here in front of us. And uh, now uh, Ladder makes its way into the ring. They were in the ring earlier. Plunkett threw him out. Oh, my. Big kick from Jeremiah Plunkett. Down goes Mr. USA. But a Ladder is in the ring. This may be a moment that Plunkett could capitalize early. And this is where it starts to get dangerous when that hardware starts to come into the ring. Yes, because those ladders aren't just going to be used to try to climb up oh. the title. They're going to be used as weapons, as we just saw. And Jeremiah Plunkett, no stranger to using these weapons, to using any advantage he can. And this is going to be all within the rules now. Yes, indeed. And look out, Mr. USA, with a big reversal, and Plunkett flies into the ladder. 
Well, Mr. USA certainly has all the fans in the New South Arena on his side. Yes, he does. New South Arena, Franklin, Kentucky. We are live here every Friday night, 7.30 p.m. on Madison Street. You need to come down and be a part of the live studio audience as we film for the hottest half hour in professional wrestling in WA Inferno. We would love to see you. So come on out as we have got a capacity crowd on hand tonight. Mr. USA now uh -oh, trying to go for the gold. Oh, almost. He almost had it. Jeremiah Plunkett getting up in time to jerk Mr. USA off of that ladder and to the mat. And you are right. The, one of the best ways to watch NWA Inferno is you watch it on TV. You can't do that, you watch it online. But the best way to watch it is right here live in the New South Arena. Yes, indeed. And as you mentioned, the course comes on television. Channel 49 in the Nashville, Tennessee market. So for all of our fans in the Music City area, we appreciate you guys who tune in each Sunday night at midnight. And of course, for those that uh, can't, you can catch the shows as they're eventually uploaded to the YouTube uh, channel. And then, of course, the best way, like you said, is to be here live. Oh, oh my! Jeremiah Plunkett takes the ladder and jumps across uh, Mr. USA, which brings the force of that ladder down on top of him. Because you can feel that impact. It's one thing to see it. It's one thing to hear it. It's another thing to feel that impact. And with Plunkett's weight advantage, certainly, that uh, he was driving that ladder into Mr. USA. I'm sure the rib cage, all of that felt the, the effects of that ladder. And now it looks like that uh, as he kicks Mr. USA, Jeremiah may be going for the title himself as he wants to retain as he's climbing up the ladder. He's starting that climb. Oh! But he wasn't climbing for very long. Mr. USA got that right. Took right care of him. Dropped him yes, right down did. on the mat. Richard Lowe's now trying to uh, doctor up <laughs> Jeremiah over there as the doctor of style tends to him. Jeremiah Pluckett uh, didn't make it too far. And you know, he was he almost moving a little bit like he was a, a little, uh, little skittish of going up very high on the ladder. You think he's afraid of heights? He might be. I know he, he looked even concerned climbing up the ring steps earlier. I don't think that he really wants to climb that ladder. Well, I'm not too fond of him either, but I'm not in this match. Oh, uh -oh. my! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He may never be the same. Sorry, Mrs. Plunkett. Oh, no. If there is a Mrs. Plunkett. <laughs> there might not be now. <laughs> oh. oh, my. He's screaming almost as high as Richard Lowe. And that takes something. Trust me. <laughs> yeah. Well, out of desperation, Jeremiah Plunkett kicks the ladder, which in turn hits Mr. USA to stop him. He had to do something, but really in this match, it's really, a, if you get down to it, anything's pretty well legal. There, there's no time limit. There has to be a winner. So it's kind of anything goes pretty much when the ladders are involved. Yeah, and the other thing we have to keep our eyes on, Richard Lowe on the outside, he's not going to hesitate to get involved with the Southern Heavyweight title on the line. Oh, not at all. Richard Lowe, he will do whatever he can, and we know that from experience. And Richard Lowe now is putting a bigger ladder into the ring. Now, this ladder looks like it's got the height. If you can get up it quick enough and grab the title, this one could be over if Jeremiah Plunkett can do that. That's part of the strategy is you got to incapacitate your opponent enough to get up that ladder. It takes a little bit to get up that ladder. Well, right now it looks like we got a test of strength with the ladder in the middle. Mr. USA oh. has won the test of strength, it looks like. So, uh... It looks like that Mr. USA now is back on top of things. Does it look like maybe a quick head butt? There's a knee. And uh, he's got Jeremiah Plunkett down. Now he's picking up the second ladder. Or I guess you would say the first ladder that was in the ring. Yeah, and Mr. USA has got to stay on Jeremiah Plunkett. He can't give him a chance to catch a breather. Look out, both of them now going up. Uh oh, dueling ladders now. I wonder if they're, that, are they related to dueling banjos? They might be, except this is going to be a bit more painful, as you just saw. Both men are down. 
Well, it is going to be a battle to see who can get up there. And just think about this. Once you get up on top of the ladder, you have got to maneuver yourself up there enough to unstrap the title to actually get it. Yeah, it's not enough to just get up to the top of the ladder. You have to retrieve the belt as well. That is that is a big part of the challenge because it is hooked up there, and uh, of course, like you said, you got to make sure your opponent's down long enough for you to get up there to do that. And both of these men have such a hatred for each other. Neither man wants to see the other man climb that ladder. Not at all. It, you know, these two really have been in, in, embarked in a huge feud here in NWA New South, and uh, tonight is again has climaxed with this big ladder match for the NWA Southern Heavyweight Championship. Uh, a very prestigious title. Lots of great men have held it. Jeremiah Plunkett now has been champion for some time he had, and I'm sure he has no plans of losing it tonight. What a body oh. slam for Mr. USA! Pulling that strength out. He's showing that he's got enough left in the tank. Let's see if he can use that to climb that ladder. And Plunkett may not plan on losing it, but right now as long as he's on that mat, he stands a chance of losing it because Mr. USA I'm sure has no other plan than to walk out of here tonight as the new champion. Yep. Whose will is stronger? Oh! Elbow from the ladder. Big elbow. That'll keep Plunkett down for a while. Mr. USA, though, is also down, so he is going to have to get up and capitalize on this. You take a man with uh, the the, uh, the grittiness, if you will, the, the grizzled white boy, Jeremiah Plunkett. You know, you take a man his size, you take a man with his capabilities, uh, and you have got to keep him on that mat. Because uh, earlier, just warming up, this guy was, was doing uh, some type of, of lunges in the ring that a man his size, you just wouldn't think would be able to do those. And I'm beginning to wonder if he, if he maybe doesn't have a little bit of martial arts background as well. Uh, you cannot underestimate Plunkett because of his size. Yeah, you can't. You look at him and you might think that he's very limited to a power. Oh, right in the face. You might think that he's limited to just a power game, but he's very agile. He's very strong. Look out, look out. Who, got what Bam Bam Baker out here after the ladder. Oh, no. Came out. Now Chad Stallings has come out. Mr. USA is going to the top, and he is trying to he's unhook that out. title. Can he do it? Can he do it? He's just about got it. He's just about got the title. Are we going to have a new champion? He kicks Stallings down. He kicks Baker. The title's come down. The title's come down. I think we're going to have a new champion. I don't know what happened. This is chaos. Richard Lowe's got it. The title came down. The question is, did Mr. U I would have said, well, Richard Lowe gets hit. Now he's got the title. Officially, the bell rings. We may have a new champion. I think we've got a new champion in Mr. USA. I don't believe it. He did it. Right now, Richard Lowe's kicking on the ground just like a little spoiled child. Look at him over there. He is throwing a temper tantrum. This has been weeks in the making. We finally, Mr. USA finally wins that championship. And despite Richard Lowe being at ringside, he wins it as well. Uh, despite that, he fought off Chad Stallings and Bam Bam Baker. Mr. USA overcame all of the odds to walk away with that title tonight. Well, a big congratulations to Mr. USA. He has done America proud tonight by winning that championship. It has been a long time coming. A big congratulations to the man in the red, white, and blue. Bake those apple pies. Get that milk ready. There's a United States theme celebration coming tonight. Yes, it is. I tell you what, they might light up the White House for that one. <laughs> well, it looks like Plunkett now has climbed back in the ring. Is he offering a hand? I can't tell. Don't take it. If you do take it, count your fingers when he's done. Wow, sportsmanship from Jeremiah Plunkett. Gotta give him that. Got that. Surprise. Ladies and gentlemen,